Hello, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in to your reading. We're going to be having a look at your person, what they're thinking, what they're feeling, what's going on with them internally. Um, we'll look at the subconscious mind and then we'll look at the conscious mind for them um, and see what's coming up. We'll use a few clarifiers as well. Um, if you'd like a private reading, please feel free to email me. Otherwise, let's jump into this baby and see what's coming up. All right, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Your person, <clears throat> the one you've got on your mind, the one you're seeing, the one you're excited about, the one that you miss, the one that you want to come back into your life. Let's see what their unconscious mind, so their subconscious is thinking, feeling. We'll have a look at the card underneath. Okay, the temperance card, this is Sagittarius energy. So those dealing with the Sag, this person has come up definitely thinking about you. Um, straight away, I get the sense they're trying to make peace with the fact their subconscious mind is trying to reason with them or make peace of a decision they've made or something that's happened with them recently. The temperance is all about balance. So they're trying to balance themselves emotionally and mentally. Um, I would say their subconscious mind is in a good state right now. It's possibly in a state of calm um, or a state of agreement or a, a pleasant state, which is really good. The sun here could indicate that they have their subconscious mind is starting to see things in more balance or in more harmony. Now, because this card represents balance and harmony, it doesn't indicate that things are one sided which straight away indicates that this person is having empathy, is thinking about not only their wants, desires, and needs, but also your own. So this is this is a message here that their subconscious mind is, is considering both angles, both arguments, both sides. And straight away, this is a card of like um, empathy and, and sympathy in this regard. So this is really fantastic. To me, I feel like with the two cups here, the subconscious may be telling them that this is a twin flame connection or the subconscious is like telling them this, this connection is profound. We have an angel here. Um, so it could indicate that this person uh, is feeling like you are their guardian angel. Um, it could be subconsciously like they're hoping to attract a message from you. Angels are messengers. So it, it could even be that their subconscious mind is telling them, reach out to them, reach out, message them, message them. And it could, it could be a positive, a benevolent message because the angels, you know, they're seen in a good light. So it could very well indicate that this person is wanting to see where you're at, what you're doing, but they care for you. There's an element of care, um, but there's also honesty. This is the card of being the straight shooter, telling things as it is. So they're being honest with themselves in a subconscious way. Okay. Um, Let's clarify this, what this temperance is, is telling us about. Why do they feel at peace where they're at? Okay, Four of Swords, Knight of Chalices, Eight of Swords. Okay, there is quite a bit of anxiety happening for this person. Um, they've been on some sort of emotional roller coaster subconsciously. Um, they've had a lot of highs. They've had a lot of lows. Right now, we see an emotional high. So they're very sensitive right now, emotionally speaking, okay, with the Knight of Chalices. They still believe in love or they still believe in your connection. The Four of Swords can be about an ending, though, or not talking, not speaking, being in a period of no contact, laying something to rest. Notice how he sort of looks depleted. Um, and the Eight of Swords, subconsciously, this person is mentally exhausted, their, so their subconscious mind is going round and round in circles and in waves, thinking about the same thing again and again. It seems to be repetitive. So the subconscious is possibly grieving and ending. So if this is a person you've ended things with, air signs, um, <clears throat> they're thinking about you. Um, two of the cards, two of the clarifying cards, sword cards. Uh, air energy is sword energy. So this is you. They're either worried about you or they're hoping you're okay. Um, you've come up in their subconscious. There's there's an element of worry. They're grieving the loss. Um, so it's either they're missing you, they're, they miss talking to you as they once did. If this is like someone from the past, you know, they're missing you. There's there's grief here. You've stopped doing something and their subconscious mind doesn't like it, air signs. It's, it's missing it um, is what I'm getting. They feel, you know... Look Look at these two cards here and notice how they're both in this like really super timid position. Like this one's like crouched down, head down in the lap. This one's like on the knees. I get the sense that they're exhausted, but there's like a timidness. They're, they're shutting themselves off subconsciously. 
They may be trying to neglect what their subconscious is trying to tell them. Um, but deep down, what I get from this, the four and the eight of swords, is that they're anxious right now. Um, that which is a huge, huge contradiction because it could be it could indicate that they're trying to find peace, but they haven't found it entirely. So there is a sense of calm. There's no tower card here. There's not a sense of disruption. I get the sense that there's calm, but it's like, it's almost like relief or calm or exhaustion. That's what I'm getting. But the Knight of Chalices, there's still emotions. They're still feeling something here. Knight of Chalices is about investing emotionally speaking. There's fear. I feel like there's fear. Notice these like, whatever this is emerging from the water and this one's high up here. So there's fear, fear of falling or fear of whatever this is. They do have an underlying fear. And I think maybe the message here is that they have to be honest with themselves about that. And subconsciously there's, there's, there's something going on here. They are considering both sides, but they're fearful, fearful of losing you, fearful of walking away, fearful of loss. Um, everything is coming out because they've got the sun card. So they're only learning about this but they're trying to keep calm about it, which is good. They're not acting in an irrational manner um, or their subconscious is not telling them to be impulsive, which is probably a good sign. Um, okay, let's see what they're feeling in the conscious mind. So how they may be displaying themselves towards you. Let's see what's going on. Bottom of the deck. What do we have? The hangman. Okay, they're not in a good place, air signs. Um, the hangman is they're hung up about something. They're reversed, so their energy is reversed. They're not in a good place. They could be upset. They could be sad. They could be depressed. Uh, they could be in an energy where everything doesn't feel right. Okay, things are reversed. Um, especially if you're in like, if you're giving them silent treatment or you guys haven't spoken or there's been something here, um, which is huge, huge contradiction. We've got balance in the subconscious mind but the conscious mind is completely in, in, in this like turmoil. So this is totally different. How they're coming across and how they're really feeling in the subconscious is two different things. Um, so I think they need to do some work here. Okay, work, some work needs to happen. Notice how we have the sun. It's almost like there's an epiphany. Um, this person may be feeling like they have some realization to make about you, air signs. Um, and this epiphany, this realization is going to come to them. And that's what's going to flip them here. We'll have a look and see what that is exactly. Um, but I do want to mention that the hangman is, you know, I, I feel like they're still trying to figure some stuff out. Um, sometimes this is like they're in suspense. So they don't know what they want right now. Um, and that's okay. Sometimes we go in these sorts of energies because it takes us time. But they're hung up. They could be hung up on an issue, on an argument, on a breakup. Um, you know, there, there, there could be something here that they're still reflecting on. Um, and that's that's how they're presenting themselves. They're feeling imbalanced. So there's definitely something that they're doing that's out of character uh, right now. So we've got the Ace of Pentacles, the Page of Chalices, Pisces has come up, the Star reversed. Okay, so... The star reverse, they're not healing. This is about healing. This is about fate. This is about destiny. Right now, they might not have a lot of hope. This is a card normally of having hope and um, seeing people as our destiny and as our future. Um, but also, this is the star is about exposing things. So they're keeping things hidden um, or they're not telling people about the situation or they're not sort of being in the picture too much, especially if you're an Aquarius watching, this is for you. Um, I feel like with the star reversed, they're not seeing a destiny or a future right now. They're at, they've actually lost hope about a situation. They're not healing or they're not doing things that are helping them heal. They may be doing destructive things, um, things that don't help them heal. They may be drinking a lot. They may be dating other people. They may be on the rebound. They may be um, taking something. They may be not cleaning their home. They may be depressed. You know, there's something here that they're doing that is not constructive it's not conducive to their, their healing process. Um, again, emotional roller coaster. We've got the Page of Cups. This is a fantasy. Um, they're thinking and they're fantasizing about something, but they're projecting some sort of fantasy that may not necessarily come true. Page of Chalices is the dreamer of the Zodiac. It's the Pisces energy. So if you're dealing with a Pisces, this person has come up. Um, they may be dreaming about you, but... Because this is the conscious mind, dreams come from the subconscious mind. So I want to say because this is the conscious mind and the page of 
cups has come up. There is some sort of fantasy going on. They're either fantasizing about you a lot um, or they're fantasizing about loving you, maybe about being intimate, these sorts of things. They could even be thinking about a new beginning. There's something about a doorway. So it makes me feel like this person believes there is a future here in some capacity. There may be a new person coming up around them, a new connection, possibly with an earth sign. Um, but the door stands open here. So there's some sort of invitation. Now, an invitation is coming up around them. Either they've been invited to something or they're going to invite you to something. There's an invitation that they want to extend or there's, there's an offer that's coming in that they want to make known to you. This is in the physical realm. So it's very likely that you could connect with this person physically and see them or there may be an offer for them to see you. So um, I'll leave it at that, Air Signs. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to drop a like, um, subscribe to the channel um, and get on board the YouTube fam. That would be lovely. Otherwise, I'm sure we'll connect very soon. So thank you again, everyone, and bye for now.